The Navy's Polaris program continues its steady pace as another nuclear-powered submarine, the Robert E. Lee, is launched at Newport News, Virginia. In ceremonies complete with Confederate atmosphere, the long-range deep-water ship, powered by the fission of atomic particles, takes its first plunge. The Robert E. Lee, an old and honored name, now associated with the up-to-the-minute Polaris program. The Navy's largest submarine, the Triton, warps away from its pier in Groton, Connecticut, to begin preliminary acceptance trials. 447 feet long, the Triton is powered by twin nuclear reactors. Captain Edward Beach, skipper of the radar picket sub, reacted to the Triton performance with these words, the best and most versatile submarine ever built. Rising to the surface of Long Island Sound during builder's trials, the George Washington prototype vehicle of the Fleet Ballistic Missile Program, the first submarine to be named for a famous American. Displaying her maneuverability, the Polaris launching submarine glides sleekly to commissioning ceremonies held at Groton on the last day of 1959. Launched on June 9th, the George Washington highlights the progress of the underwater missile program now anticipated to become operational two years ahead of schedule. The George Washington, another famous first. <music> Off Key West, Florida, safety precautions come to the fore as Navy men aboard the fleet submarine Archerfish run out of ladder 300 feet below the surface. But it's all premeditated they're medical research men checking out the buoyant ascent method of submarine escape. 300 feet is a new depth record for the escape procedure that requires no equipment except a Mae West life jacket. Submariners call it blow and go because the trick is to exhale all the way. Save the breathing in for topside. To study crash landings in water, the Navy calls on Sierra Sam for a series of deliberate dunkings in specially instrumented obsolete planes. Sam, the Navy's biggest dummy, is a perfect subject for the 130-foot dives as cameras record stresses and strains of impact and canopy crushing by water pressure. Next, in a cockpit section mounted on the deck of a submarine, a human volunteer dressed in standard flight equipment attempts escape through the turbulence of a seven-knot underwater cruising speed. Valuable information accumulated to help Navy flyers if and when trouble comes. And our volunteer demonstrates it can be done. 